Cam ICU training video. Right, today I am going to demonstrate how to perform a Cam ICU test. This is a screening tool to identify if a patient has delirium. It is a modification of the confusion assessment method test specifically designed for use on patients in critical care. First, determine whether the patient will be able to cooperate with the test. If they are rousable to eye opening or to voice, equivalent to a RAS score of minus three or above, then you can proceed with the test. If not, then the test cannot be performed and must be reattempted at a later date when the level of consciousness is higher. Next. The initial screening question regarding acute onset or fluctuation in mental status. Is the patient different from their baseline mental status? This is the mental status prior to hospital admission and includes patients who have an alteration in consciousness that is drug induced. You also include patients that are at their baseline now but have had a fluctuation in their consciousness over the last 24 hours as recorded by a change in their sedation score, Glasgow Coma score or previous CAM ICU score. If the answer is no, then you do not need to proceed further with the test. The CAM ICU test is negative. If the answer is yes, then you proceed to the next test, inattention. Address the patient and say, I am going to read to you a series of 10 letters. When you hear the letter A, indicate by squeezing my hands. Then say a series of 10 letters. The commonest example is save a heart, which I will demonstrate now. S, A, V, E, A, H, a, A, R, T. If the patient makes two or fewer errors, then do not proceed further with the test. The CAM ICU test is negative. If the patient makes three or more errors, either by missing the letter A or squeezing your hand on a letter other than A, then you proceed to the second section of the test. Next. Assess for an altered level of consciousness. If the patient has a level of consciousness other than awake and calm at the time of the test, then the CAM ICU test is positive for delirium. This is regardless of their baseline mental status, unlike the initial part of the test. If they are awake and calm, but have scored in the other portions of the test, then you proceed to the final section of the test, disorganized thinking. Ask the patient four simple yes or no questions. Will a stone float on water? Are there fish in the sea? Does one kilogram weigh more than two kilograms? Can you use a hammer to hit a nail? Follow these questions with the following command. Hold up this many fingers. Now do the same with the other hand. If the patient makes one or no errors, then the test is complete and the CAM ICU test is negative. If the patient makes two or more errors, then the test is positive for delirium. It is recommended that this test is performed in all patients in critical care every eight to 12 hours.